How you doing? This is George at Wicked Warnings, your number one source for LED safety and emergency lighting for construction, trucks, cars, SUVs, and whatever else you need. Here with brand new, new face GMC. This is the brand new body style by GM. This particular one happens to be a GMC Denali HD. And we've done a couple of different things on this vehicle. As you can see, first and foremost, we've got our razor in the grill. And I do apologize about how bright that is but if I turn down the ISO on the camera you can actually see we do have an alternation of color and in person I can guarantee you that the colors show up very vivid and you can definitely see the X pattern that we're going with there I just have to turn the camera all the way down to almost nothing to show you if we return that ISO to auto this will be no camera trick this is exactly how bright it is of course we've also incorporated the ever popular flood mode into those lights as well you can see when I dial down the camera it is only those lights that are on producing a significant amount of white light forward facing when required we did a little something else on this new truck now I'm not sure if you're aware but a lot of these GM's have light up markers now it's a parking light circuit in the fender well here and we've hooked up our auto flasher module to the fender marker lights this was by customer's request and I think it turned out quite nice this vehicle primarily does snow removal so we built the package around what the customer wanted to see so we wanted to flash these factory side lights to give him a little bit of extra visibility it's actually not very hard of a job. The wiring is fairly easy to get to, and you can use our standard auto flasher module to do it. It's very easy. They're all four parking lights. Here you can see them with the front lights activated too. Now I do not have an install video for the side fender lights for the auto flasher module because as I said, the wiring is fairly easy to get to, and it's a fairly easy modification by following the standard auto flasher instructional video on the website. So if you're interested in doing these fender lights, pick up your auto flasher module and you're going to have to source the wiring. It's very easy to find, interrupt it, and you can easily wig wag your fender lights the same as this. Now the other feature that this truck got, because it plows snow by owner request, we added some flood lighting to the step pockets. We've got a floodlight in the front step and a floodlight in the back step and they will be available on the website very soon we had to trim the front step bracket very slightly in the back to make room for the floodlight and there was very little modification needed in the bumper step other than to move the proximity sensor out of the way before you drill your holes here's a little better shot of that floodlight right there you can see in the back step as well as the front step we just wanted to get a lot more side lighting out behind the back ends of this truck and as I'll display right now by shutting off the shop lights you can see that that flood lighting adds a significant amount of light to the sides of the truck again this was by owner request to add a lot of light out back on the sides of the truck just like this for when he is snow plowing let me show you the warning mode in the back well, with the shop lights off, you can easily see the pattern that we have set. It's a fast 75 FPM triple flash alternation. And what we have there is a couple of TIR3s and our LED HAW Duo low dome back mounted through the fascia on the corner of the bumper. This is to get as much amber around the back as we can. We didn't want to manipulate the tail light because although we could wigwag the OEM white reverse the goal with this project was to get amber on the vehicle for plowing purposes here you can see a little better shot of those lights and as I said uh, earlier you will need to remove temporarily your proximity sensor in the corner of the bumper in order to get that drill uh, hole that you need to drill a one inch hole and back mount that LED HAW duo right in the corner of the bumper there I glue it in with RTV sealant from the back and uh, that way we don't have any screws showing. It's a nice clean install. As you can see, there's where we mounted the TIR3s. There's where the Hideaway Duo is, right there in the corner of the bumper. Here's a little better shot right here. I'll try to get a little closer for you. And you can see there how I mounted that little floodlight right there in the pocket and how we back mounted that amber 
LED HAW. I'll go to the front. Here we are at the front pocket. This is the one you will have to trim slightly, the bracket behind it for this mounting location. I suppose you might be able to mount that light a little higher, but there is slight curvature to the plastic, so we chose to mount it right here. And I just want to show one more time those awesome auto flasher module that we're using to flash the factory fender lights there. Give them some free side warning with the factory included fender light back and forth. If you have mirrors on this truck you'd like to flash or roof lights, you can contact us about that by email. I'm sure we're going to have options coming about available very soon for the mirrors and the roof light on this model truck as well. Here inside the vehicle, by customer request, we brought our six position switch out right from in here. Uh, he wants to be able to just simply tuck it away when not in use. And when he's plowing, he can bring it up and we're going to design a cell phone type cup mount for right here, I believe, or something to go right down in here. We haven't added the legends yet, but we will be adding those shortly. And uh, it's all controlled again by the six button controller right on our website. Thanks again for watching, George, at Wicked Warnings. Remember to bring your new body GM over to Wicked Warnings to get it done right the first time. Be sure to check the links in the description, read more section for all of the products we featured in this video. And if you have any questions, please send an email in, link to the video, and ask all the questions you want. Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings. This is George, your number one source for LED safety and emergency strobe lighting and equipment for cars, trucks, buses, vans, SUVs, go-karts, tricycles, bicycles, and scooters. See you on the next video.